Hey, today I invite you to join me where we're dealing with real power. Stick around. Hello again and welcome back to Austin's American Flyer where today we consider some transformative methods on reviving a power source, also known as a transformer. Today, on Austin's American Flyer video. All right, so today we have here a uh, number two transformer. And uh, this poor guy has got a cord that is original and it is cracked in many, many places and is truly a fire hazard. I don't know if you can even begin to see how many, pretty much every place it's got a bend, it's cracked. Uh, so this is not something that anyone would want to use uh, because it is dangerous. Dangerous. So uh, my hope is that today we will uh, go ahead and replace this power cord and then give it a try and see if it Wait a minute stop the presses or safety so i don't oftentimes talk about this but uh, when you're dealing with something that has a potential for a large shock for example like a transformer let's make sure that we have it unplugged now it's common sense and probably no one's ever thought in their wildest imagination i will leave this plugged in while i take it apart um bad idea don't do it step away from the outlet. Just don't go there. The other thing that's maybe a little less clear is be careful with the tools you're using because blunt tools with enough force can still cause some damage like this. So the customer that I was doing, doing this repair for uh, told me to take my time and be safe. And so what do I do? <laughs> Uh, I had a miss, uh, misstep with a very long screwdriver and gouged my hand. And uh, wow, does it hurt. So, um, yeah, the customer's always right. Man, oh, did that hurt. And ugh. so, take it from me. Don't do what I did. It's really painful and can be avoided with a little bit of common sense, which... Uh, for me, unfortunately, sometimes seems to escape uh, when I need it most. Uh, 
uh, at least reassembling things a bit because uh, I want to do a check of continuity and that means plugging it in. So, um, as mentioned, we want to make sure that we don't uh, create an opportunity for injury. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is put the spacers back in here, put the transformer back on there, let it sit down upside down here. So now, I'm going to get my electrical meter. And plug this bad boy in. Alright, we have humming happening, so that's a good sign. I'm going to change my meter to volts AC and go to the base post and the accessories post and it looks like we've got six. Okay, let's go to this post. I'm sorry, I had them. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, 15 volts. I guess I can't read. Okay, so this is supposed to be 15 volts, and we are at 18, so that would be accessories. Now I'm going to put this at 50%. We've got 6, 7, 100%, 8, The next thing I want to do is I want to hook up uh, an engine. Awesome, awesome. So there you have it. Uh, this is officially uh, up and running. This is a number two transformer. And uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, because I'm doing this repair for a very kind man, is I'm going to go ahead and finish putting it together. And I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And this, along with the Royal Blue set, will be heading heading back to customer's home.
So I hope you enjoyed the video today on a simple transformer repair and uh, be encouraged. I mean, if you've got a transformer like this and it's got a cord in bad shape, um, don't be afraid to replace it. Uh, these transformers are built very well. They're very simple, as you saw. And, uh, and usually those cords can, can go bad over time, especially with something that's 50, 60, 70 years old. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, please leave your comments below. And um, I know it's not unique to, to replace cords on transformers. Um, I'd love to hear your adventures uh, doing that. Have you ever, ever attempted that? And how did it go? Uh, let me know and share, share your story with the rest of us. We'd love to hear it. Until next time, enjoy your trains, take care, and God bless. We'll see ya.